Hey, this is Brian with King Grizzly, and today I'm answering a viewer question. This viewer makes this really neat ceramic artwork, this teapot, and he was wondering, could, it, could we set up the site so that if someone clicked on one of these images below, it would change the image above? So I'm going to show one potential way to solve this without having to use code. And you may find that this is a good solution, and he may find that it's a good solution for his need or not. Um, but this is one possible way to go about it. So... I'm just going to add a container to my page and then inside of it what we want to add is the media carousel widget i can't remember if this is a pro or not sorry it probably is um, so if i add it initially it seems like it won't work but if you look at the skin drop down you can choose slideshow and then we'll already have something very similar to his design uh, there is some a kind of older Thing called cover flow that looks like the apple store from a long time ago i think it was the apple store or itunes or something but we want a slideshow he has four images so i'm gonna set mine to have four and then on the slides per view we're gonna go with four we want these thumbnails to be one to one ratio to match his so the thumbnails are getting to be a good size let me go ahead and delete the slides and uh, I'm going to add in four square images. I happen to have these AI superheroes. Go ahead and add four of them. Let's see here, we should add a bad guy. Which bad guy do we want? Let's go with this scary gorilla. Uh, he's pretty strong, but he's not as strong as the dinosaur guy. That guy is way strong, but it'll still take a couple superheroes to stop him. So let me add them. Uh, Maybe this sloth guy is going to get in the mix this time. So there's four. So you can see we've, we're getting close. I'm going to click on the container and limit the width. Under box width, I'm going to reduce the width there. Yeah, or I could have done that on the media carousel widget. I could have set a width on that as well. So for example, if, if we didn't want to change our default width, I could go to media carousel, advanced, and choose a width. Custom would be a good option. And maybe go with, um, let's go with pixels. We'll just find some width that looks closer to what what he had and maybe we'll go to the container and we'll center that like like that okay so go to media carousel now i need to try to get more of a square image here i'm going to look into my options here so number one i can set a height so i'm going to go up and you can see once i go past the square size it starts to sort of crop it the other way so i'm going to try to find the point at which it switches somewhere like that now if we go to what was it style um no, under content. I'm going to go to additional options. I'm going to turn off the autoplay. That drives me nuts. Um, oh, that looks buggy. I'm going to turn off infinite loop. I'm going to turn off arrows. There we go. So if we change the image fit from cover to contain, what will happen, I actually did a good job of sizing this, but if we go back to that height control, if you don't get it just right, then you, you kind of you get this sort of an effect. Um, I want to get it pretty much just right, but then Let's get it not quite right, but then let's change it to cover and you'll see what I mean. So if I go to cover, then it keeps a nicer trimmer gap. I like that. So I'm just going to go back to the slides view, find the point at which it was square. And we can go to uh, style and adjust that gap here. Uh, I like the 10 pixels, but you can change it, right? And you can set padding. Is that for the individual items? Yes. So you could be thoughtful about this and decide how you want to do it. But actually, I was okay with the 10. I thought that kind of looked good right there. Um, so this is looking pretty good. Um, but you'll notice if I hit publish, this is the caveat with this particular widget. If I click, nothing happens. It's because it's meant to be a slider. And so I'm trying to use it as not a slider. So here's some options. Number one, you can go to navigate. No, sorry. Go to content, go to additional options. I could turn on infinite loop. If I publish that and I refresh, what will happen is if I click an item, it'll show and scroll to the front here. But I feel this may actually be a good solution. It, even though there's only four, it just kind of jumps them around. You may find that you do or don't like this. Um, I think that the actual arrow nav really wasn't bad. Like I kind of like that. It's intuitive that there's arrows. And it gives you the option to actually uh, 
put in more images here than like you have the width for. So like, let's say he had 12 pictures of this. He could take more pictures of the pot, like close-ups and so forth. And this would fit them nicely because you can control slides per view. So if, if he had seven images, but he only wanted to show three thumbnails at a time, he could, and then come over here and let's see what that's like. So now we're going to show three at a time, but we've got these arrows, which we can style. And it's got this kind of cool slide effect. If you think that's tacky, you can see it's also sliding these and these should be clickable. That's pretty nice. And then if we go back over here, I can say, I don't like that slide effect. I want to do a fade. I think that's classier. If we preview that, refresh, then I click, then it just, nothing's moving other than the slides below. And you can set how long that effect takes somewhere, transition duration. Like I could make it pretty much instant if I wanted to by changing that. So I think that gives some good options. And then if you get down to say tablet, if I click on this, I can go to slides and I can change the slides per view on tablet. So if I only wanted two up on tablet, I could do that. Um, or maybe I want three. So I don't know if this will satisfy the you know, desire of the viewer who asked that question. But I think this is certainly a good option where you don't have to write more code. And actually you can get a really kind of a neat rotating carousel here. Now this will work for images and I think it can maybe even support some video. It's not really intended to be slide slides where you're building in custom slides with text and everything. If you want to do that, there's actually a slides widget. This one here, if I add that to the page, you'll see this, but it's not really it doesn't have that film strip underneath it. So I think uh, for the purpose of just adding some images, this could be potentially a nice option that's pretty easy to set up, looks nice. But yeah, let me know your thoughts. I'm sure there's other ways people do this. I know it can be done with code, but I'm curious if anybody knows a cleaner way to do this. But thanks for watching. Please consider subscribing. And if you have a way to stump us, send your question in um, and we'll see if we can't figure it out. All right. Thanks.